You are another one on the show where I'm like, I love to hate you and I love you so much. Do you watch yourself on this and say, how do I pull this out? And how am I so, I want to love myself, but I'm so evil at the same time. I mean, I've had a love-hate relationship with Serena from the get-go. It's yeah. been like, yeah, it's been real push and pull with her, especially uh, this season even more so, because I think the, the relationships are so much more heightened in there's so much more complication to each of the relationships that, you know, Serena pulls some moves that I'm even more desperately kind of trying to figure out, like, why? Why are you so mean? And, you know, so, yeah, the, it's very confronting. It's confronting. Do you, like, pump yourself up before you get into a scene? Because I want to know how you get into this here. No, I don't do that. Uh, I, I don't know. We, we put a lot of thought into what we do. I certainly, you know, I spend a lot of time discussing certain scenes with, with people if they yeah. seem to be a little especially tricky and, and I have found that towards the second half of the season and you'll see eventually um, there, there are certain things that happen that um, are kind of difficult to justify in a lot of ways so it, it really is about diving deep into the relationships and understanding them so intricately and understanding why someone could do something like what you're going to see down the line uh, yeah yeah. It's heavy and I'm ready for it. I can't wait for it. <laughs> like you said, it's going to be heightened this season around and we're going to learn a lot more about everyone in there. I think so. I think the circumstances, I mean, the stakes are high in Gilead as it is, which is what we sort of set up in this in the first season, you know, every every little twitch, every breath was something, meant yeah. something. So we're, we're jumping right off of that into a, a whole nother level um, of tense. Okay, okay, another level of tense. When people see you out in the streets, do they say anything to you about it? Do they come up? Do fans or anything? They do come up. You know, we're, I've been in Toronto for the last six months, basically. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of people come up and, and uh, ironically, well, no, they're, they're, I'm surprised that they're smiling because oh, I, yeah. I, I was thinking, you know, I'd get a maybe like a rotten, you know, piece of fruit thrown at my head or something for playing Serena uh, but no people are very welcoming and super lovely and um, and very proud that we're shooting it in Toronto you know the Canadians yeah, are very proud that we're we're there and um, and that we're telling the story at Margaret Atwood you know yeah, yeah. finally on set how do we keep it lighthearted are there pranks going on I'm hearing Samira loves the cookies that are being passed around there's fresh baked cookies I will I will tell you there is a lot of discussion about the current season or what just passed uh, The Bachelor. We have viewing parties. Oh, okay. There's a little group of us and the, the, yeah, a lot of us are into it. You'd, you'd be surprised. We even got Joseph Fiennes to watch an episode. Okay, we're going to have to stalk and he's him he's going to kill me for saying <laughs> that. So I really shouldn't have let that out of my mouth. But. Sorry. <laughs>